Hello all, welcome back and this is Naveen. Um, so last time we have discussed about how to create a server, right? So we have discussed and we have tested it. And uh, here, uh, if you want to understand the syntax and all, uh, every server will have a host name and port number. Okay, so every server is gonna run on a certain IP address. So that's your host name and the port number. Okay, and uh, generally how you create a server in Node.js is we call a function called http.createServer. So this is gonna create your Node.js server. And inside we actually have one callback function. So what is a callback function is this one. So this callback function takes two parameters. One is request and response. So what is mean by the request is the request which is coming from client to the server. Okay. And the response indicates the data which is sending from server to client. That's called response. So request is client to server. Response is from server to client. And then we have written one extra line here is response dot status code 200. It means my server has to respond with uh, a successful response. I think you might have learned uh, uh, something called 404 page not found. So you request for a certain page on the server and which is not exist on the server. You get the 404. So same like that you have different different uh, uh, status codes are available for HTTP requests. Uh, so this is the one. <coughs> so 200 is for success. And the next statement is set header content type text slash HTML. It means whatever the response which is coming from server to client so what type of response it is is that the html response or is that the json response or plain text response or in the document what type of response it is it is html response and then response dot end so i'm going to stop my response with this statement okay and then every server is uh, when it actually what is mean by the server so server is a software system where uh, it is just keep looking for the request which is coming from the client so it's, a, it's a continuous process it's keep running and just waiting for the request from the client so as soon as the client has sent a request through his browser or any other software it takes the request it does some process and gives back the output gives back the response so takes in the request does some process and gives back the response this is what functionality what server will do okay so server is keep listening to the port number and host name and this is a confirmation is the server started so at this line server gets start and when this code get execute is whenever you send a request to the server okay so fine so we have seen this actually uh, last time when you when I send a request I got the response from the server okay fine so now next thing is uh, the node.js contains a set of modules or set of libraries just like our plain javascript is having set of libraries right or set of classes uh, you have a date uh, functions are there math or uh, math is there dom is there like uh, string uh, number like multiple json is there right same like that in node.js when 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 talk about server so when when come to server number date functions and all everything available but uh, uh, the functions which related to the browser for example window object document object so these things are not at all available for node okay because in server there is no need of browser sorry okay so browser specific functions browser specific classes browser specific methods nothing is available for node okay no dom no window object nothing okay and there you don't have a file system in the browser you have a file system here okay so like a lot of differences are there because this is purely dedicated for the server okay so this contains a set of other libraries because which is uh, which is more uh, I mean, it is slight bigger than the regular javascript program which you have learned in the client side Okay, Node.js. So Node.js actually contains a set of libraries like uh, core libraries are there, uh, custom libraries are there and third party libraries are there. So this library is nothing but uh, uh, some people call package, some people call module, some people call library. Okay, so when you 
actually install the Node.js in your system. So as soon as you install Node.js, you will get by default certain packages or certain libraries or certain modules. So those are called as core module. So the module or the library which comes in built with the Node.js installation is called as core module or core library. So when you see in this program, HTTP, I import HTTP from HTTP. And also please see, I have not installed the HTTP separately. So this comes under the core module and no need of installation specially required, which is internally available for you once you have done the installation of Node.js. So which comes along with Node.js, this is called core module. And there are few other core modules also there, like OS module is there, uh, like HTTP module is there, and uh, uh, file system module is there, like path module is there, like a lot of other modules are there. If you want to know more about those core modules, you can actually go to our official website of Node.js in that there is something called docs. Yeah, in that you can select any other version. Yeah, this is the official Node.js documentation. Uh, in the Node.js documentation, the left hand side, you can see all the core modules. The OS module is there. Okay, and which contains a lot of functions. Okay, and buffer module is there, crypto module is there, console is there, domain, errors, events, file system. Like, lot many core modules by default available with node okay so now what we do is so we have created the server right so along with this and try to start using set of core modules how to use the core modules basically in node.js and then we'll see uh, custom modules and third party modules okay so let's start uh, core modules of node.js in the next video thank you so much for watching and let's meet in the next video Thank you.